In this video, I'm going to show you the top three biggest mistakes newbies to binoculars make and how you can avoid them. Hello and welcome to Best Binocular Reviews. My name is Joseph. To get the best out of your binoculars, it's important that you know how to use them properly. So in this video, I'm going to go over some of the mistakes that I see newbies making all the time and show you how to avoid them. I imagine that there are people out there that have held their binoculars upside down or perhaps even worse, the wrong way around and looked through the objective lenses rather than the eyepieces. But I'm also pretty sure, well at least I hope, that they will be able to correct these errors without needing my advice. So instead, in this video, I'm going to go through the type of errors that beginners can make over and over again. And unless someone points them out to them, they will continue to do so. And in the end, what they end up doing is they actually end up blaming the binoculars for the poor results. Before we get started, I'd like to know, what mistakes have you made, or people you know have made, uh, in regards to binoculars? Let us know in the comment section down below. First on my list, and a very common user error that I see, is the incorrect use of the eye cups, and in particular the twist-up style. When you take your new binoculars out of the box, the eye cups will be retracted and many people either do not know that they are supposed to or indeed if they can be twisted up. Eye cups are related to eye relief and are not only there to make the binocular more comfortable to use, but are specifically designed to make sure that the eyes sit at the correct distance behind the ocular lenses. Getting the setting wrong will probably result in you seeing black rings around the edges of the view or make it look like you are looking down a long tube with dark rings all the way around the view, and thus severely restrict your field of view and overall quality of view. In general, manufacturers design the cups to be set to the fully extended position if you don't wear glasses. If you do wear glasses, you should retract the eye cups. This is because your glasses will take up some, if not all, of the space that is usually occupied by the extended eye cups, and thus you no longer need to use them. Now everyone has different shaped faces and thicknesses of glasses, if you wear them, and so this is why the best cups have multi-position click stops, allowing you to position and customize them to match your particular requirements. For more on this, be sure to check out my in-depth article on how to use binoculars with glasses, eye relief and eye cups explained. This and all the relevant links will be in the description below the video. Usually located near the right eyepiece, the role of the diopter adjustment ring is to allow for any differences between the vision of your left and right eyes, as many people can have one eye that is significantly weaker or stronger than the other. Thus, a correctly calibrated diopter makes sure that when you try and focus on an object, both the left and right sides of the binocular come into focus at the same point. It is very important to get the setting right. In fact, if the setting is a long way out, the effect of having one side in focus and the other out can actually give you a headache or make you feel nauseous Correctly setting the diopter will depend on a number of factors, including its exact type and location on your binocular, and will take far too long for me to go through all of them on this video. So be sure to check out the links in the description below that will take you through to a couple of articles on the BBR website, where I go through this in great detail. People who don't often use binoculars will usually bring the binocular up to their face and only then do they try and look for the subject that they want to observe. The high magnification and the resulting reduced field of view can make this quite disorientating and thus it can be quite difficult to locate and lock onto your subject. This is especially true if you have a high powered binocular, your subject is small and at a reasonably close range and is possibly fast moving. So something like a bird in a nearby bush would be a good example. The correct way to aim your binoculars is to firstly look at your subject without them and then bring your binoculars up to your eyes without moving your head. 
This makes it much easier to find your subject. Once again, be sure to check out the description for a link that will take you to an article on the BBR website that goes into great detail on how to correctly aim your binoculars. Have you made any of these or seen any other binary mistakes? Let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see if I can't add them to a future video. And lastly, if you like this video, please be sure to subscribe. This is something that I'd really appreciate as it helps me to continue to grow this channel and improve and thus hopefully bring you more content and better content in the future. So once again, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, ask them down in the comment section below and I'll see you again next time.